hey, just got here, it's like 6 p.m., so a little bit later than in checkout. I wanted to come here earlier, but I had a nice meal at my friend's place in New Jersey, but check this out. Well, look at the red, blood red carpet, first of all. A sign of the 60s. Uh, I knew someone that had blood red carpet like that, strangely enough, and then we always made a joke like, oh, what happens if you just murder someone and roll them up? But we'll hold that up for another time. Anyway, no murder. Check this out, look at that. Nice heavy wooden door. So it just reminds me of some office stuff. I love this. This is a nice touch where the, uh, you can have your champagne bucket or actually ice bucket um, bathroom. Nice little touches here. Did definitely get that vibe, that 60s vibe here, kind of running into that. Uh, on the way up to, there was like a Herman Miller kind of, I guess, exhibit, like a reading room. Um, I love this kind of aggregate floor here. The nice touches, this brass look. Um, so, so of the era. A nice little footstool here. So they, you know, as tight as any kind of New York place, but what's nice is you get to see the airplanes. I really love it. Um, what's funny was we, I saw a real pilot, <laughs> not a movie, but I saw a real pilot. So it makes sense, right? A lot of people would stay here because it's so convenient. Uh, also on the wall, which made me real, feel really kind of um, nostalgic for travel where these kind of period sort of uh, advertisements for all the different places where TWA used to go. Obviously, I remember TWA as a kid. Um, being here in New York as an airline, so um, you know, kind of dating myself. I remember that in Pan Am, but check it out nice, comfy bed, yeah, and nice, really cool chairs. And even the way they did this, you know, there's lamps that are like that, but they kind of obviously the hotel you need a little more stability, so they anchored from floor to ceiling. Oh, and check this out, all right? Listen to these shades, just so modern touch, but that sound, everything just reminds me, oh, it's tray chic of the 60s. Um, 70s, but really comfortable room, um, very nice, very clean, very modern, but yet not really modern, but date, not but not dated. Let's put it that way. So um, I think it's not, but but better work than I do. But I do like the look. And some mirror here to kind of make it look like it's a little wider and stuff. So yeah, nice little touches to kind of you know make the room feel bigger. So TWA Hotel. We'll show you some other things outside too, and other parts of it, some of the exhibits and things, some fun stuff. Uh, and it really great because you're right by the airport. Okay, here we are on the rooftop. So I am fully vaccinated. So CDC guidelines, a little mask off there. But it's heated pool, but it's nice. We saw a jet take off earlier, but not any now. And you can see a little tram going there, but look, the sunlight's going there. A little pool bar. Uh, ordered some margaritas, QR codes. I mean, that's the way the day's out. Look, Manhattan over there, plane, check it out. Look at that. Nice, huh? So we're gonna enjoy, maybe take a little swim and just enjoy a little drink. Okay, evening time inside a little bit. So this is the kind of lobby area in the upper part. That's the sunken lounge. Same menu as the one up in the pool. Uh, as you can see the, you know, the board going there. There's a replica plane out there. Probably a real one. And then you also have out here, there's a Paris Cafe by Jean Georges, another eatery in the corner over there. Out front, the fountain that we've seen before. And it looks like the museum is over there. And then there's some more eateries underneath here as well. So um, some things to do. I know they have Intelligentsia coffee here too in the morning. So something I could use a little bit. Um, there's like a photo booth downstairs and stuff. So some cool stuff here. A little gift shop that opens tomorrow. Maybe pick up a sweatshirt or something. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of vibe. It's kind of nice. It's very chill. The music has been very a la 60s as well. Because it has signs of the 1962 when this all got started here. And some Howard Hughes stuff, which is kind of pretty cool. Take a little walk and take a little look in the uh, museum over there. Got a little Chrysler here, Newport. I don't know this model that well, so I'm kind of taking a look at it. I'm kind of more interested in the convertible outside, but we'll give it a little shot inside here. I love the soundtrack of this place, but check it out. The interior looks pretty mint, which is pretty cool. Somebody left some crumbs back there. I can't believe it. I guess they've had this on it because somebody ripped the seat, but you know what? Maybe uh, it's kind of cool though. I've actually had this. Chilling. Love it. Coca Cola machine looks classic. 